So we're in the kitchen right now and I'm about to cook up the sheep's head. And today we're making a pretty cool recipe, pretty different kind of recipe, and that is lobster rolls. So I know some of you are probably thinking, well, how are you gonna make lobster rolls with sheep's head? And honestly, I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but what I've read is that if you boil fish with sugar and water and a little bit of salt and lemon, that it kind of firms up the fish and changes the texture and the taste of it, and it resembles lobster. So do I think it's gonna taste just like lobster? No, absolutely not. But I think it will definitely have a different texture and a more firm texture, which is the important part for this dish. So this is actually called poor man's lobster, and it's typically made with cod or halibut or something like that. But I think sheep's head will work great because as many of y'all know, sheep's head is already considered kind of a sweet meat. So I think it's gonna work pretty good. If it does work, oh well. But we're gonna be making two kinds of lobster rolls, Maine and Connecticut, so the warm and the cold, and let's get right into it. I'm actually gonna go into the voiceover mode just so everything kind of flows a little bit better, and I'll see y'all there. All right, so for this catch and cook, I started by putting a couple cups of water in a pan, then adding about a cup of sugar to it, and these are not exact measurements because I don't really know how much to add, I'm just guessing, but about a cup of sugar and then a fourth cup of salt, and then I squeezed in a half of a lemon. And while that water was heating up, I went ahead and went over the ingredients. So for the main lobster roll, which is a cold one, or basically just a lobster salad, I started with mayonnaise, some celery, some fresh dill to chop up, and also some green onions, and then the other half of the lemon and some seafood seasoning. Now for the Connecticut style lobster roll, which is the warm one, it's super simple, just butter and once again, seafood seasoning. Then of course we have our two sheep's head fillets and then our butter brioche hot dog buns from HEB Bakery. And these are not exactly what you would use in a traditional lobster roll, but it's the closest thing I could find. So to start cooking, the first thing I did was cut my sheep's head into little chunks. Now you don't want them diced up super fine, but you also don't want half of a filet inside of your roll. So just cubing them up into bite-sized pieces is exactly what I did and it seemed to work pretty well. Once that water sugar mixture finally came to a rolling boil and everything was dissolved, I went ahead and started to add in my fish chunks. So it does not take long to cook the fish, just a few minutes is all that needs, but while I was letting those boil, I went ahead and made my sauce. So I started off with a couple scoops of mayonnaise, and I should say that I honestly don't know what goes into the sauce. I just took a bunch of different recipes for it and mixed them all together. So basically just do whatever you want, as long as it tastes good, who really cares? So a couple scoops of mayonnaise, a little bit of seafood seasoning, a couple squeezes of lemon, and then I added my cut up dill. And this is the part where you gotta be careful because that stuff is pretty strong. If you add too much, all you're gonna taste is dill. If you don't add enough, then you're not gonna get that nice tangy flavor, I guess you could say. So a couple pieces of cut up dill and then the celery just for some crunch because like I said, you're basically just making a lobster salad or like a seafood salad, it's all the same. I then gave that a nice mix together, and by the time that was finished, the fish was also done cooking. So I took it out, drained off the extra water, and I was super impressed by how it turned out. It had definitely firmed up a little bit, and I even took a taste of it, and it was really sweet from that sugar water. And sheep's head is notorious for tasting like crab, and I know we're going for lobster here, but this tastes identical to crab, and I'm definitely not complaining. So I went ahead and put that first batch into the fridge to cool down, because that is for the cold lobster roll. And then this one that you're seeing right here is for the warm lobster roll. So what I did was I boiled these up and then threw them into a pan with some melted butter, garlic, and green onions just so they would soak up all that flavor. And it looked super good and I took a taste of this one too. And yeah, it tasted really good as well. While I was letting that simmer in that butter garlic mixture, I took my buns, split them open, and then gave them a nice little painting of melted butter so they would toast up really well. I then threw them into a warm pan to let them get nice and toasted. It only took about a minute or so and then it was time to serve up the warm lobster roll. Now this is served with a little cup of warm butter on the side so you can dip the whole roll in there, but 
but I went ahead and just spooned some on top so it would start soaking into that bread. Now that it was just about time to eat, I went ahead and took my chilled fish out of the fridge and threw on a little bit of that dressing or sauce or whatever you want to call it and just very, very carefully mix it together. I did not want to crumble the fish, so I just tossed it lightly and made sure that everything had a nice coating. So the last and final step was to take this, throw it in between some more toasted buns, and you know we had to pile it nice and high. And then of course, before we took a bite, I had to hit some B-roll shots. 